Hi, and welcome to this theory tutorial on inheritance from the biology section of the BMAT. So in this theory tutorial, we'll have a look at DNA, chromosomes and alleles. We'll also have a look at genetic crosses, dominant and recessive disorders, and finally some shortcuts for inheritance questions. After that, you can have a go at some of the BMAT style questions in the next video. So how common are inheritance questions in BMAP biology? Well, you can see here that we've had 12 questions on inheritance since 2009. So they really do like to ask questions on this topic. So make sure you watch through this theory tutorial really carefully. All organisms have DNA and it's only identical twins that have exactly the same DNA. So your DNA is found in chromosomes and these are found in the nucleus of the cell. Diploid cells have 46 chromosomes. And an example of diploid cells are our normal body cells, so our somatic cells. And here's an example here in this image. So we can see we've got 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 plus 23 is 46. We also have haploid cells. These have 23 chromosomes, and these are our sex cells, so sperm and egg cells. They're also called our germline cells. A gene is a section of DNA that codes for a certain protein or a characteristic. We've got an example here. So if we just took this section of our DNA, that might code for something, for example, blue eyes. Then we've got an allele that is a different version of a gene. So we'd find this gene at the same place on every single person's chromosome. But for different people, it might code for blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, etc. So when a dominant allele is present, it is always expressed in that organism. OK, so this example here, we've got capital B is that dominant allele. So if that person has that allele, they're going to have brown eyes. Then we have a recessive allele. They are only expressed, that characteristic is only expressed in the absence of dominant alleles. So we can see here, we've got two lowercase b's. B is our recessive allele. It is only expressed as blue eyes when we don't have any of our dominant alleles present. So a capital letter signifies a dominant allele and a lowercase letter signifies a recessive allele. So here we can see we've got a chromosome, which is condensed DNA. I've then zoomed in to highlight a certain section of that DNA. And within a section of that, we have what we call a gene. So here's our gene. And this is a section of DNA is the gene for eye colour. So then we have to look at what allele we have for that gene. So the allele for eye colour, we might have a brown, a dominant, or we might have the allele for blue we might have a recessive allele. So the genotype is the genetic sequence of an organism. So we've got a picture here of a section of DNA. The phenotype is the characteristics expressed by that organism. And that depends on both the DNA or the genotype and the environment too. So for example, we've got eye colour here. But if we think about how the environment might affect it, you might have lots of genes that make you tall for example, but what you eat in the environment around you might also have an impact on your height. So you have your genotypes, the genes that will affect how tall you are, but you also have the environment playing a factor as well. And these together make your phenotype, how you present and the characteristics you show. So this is an example of a genetic cross. Now, the classic BMAT style question will ask you to identify all the possible genotypes of the offspring. And it may also ask you to calculate the fraction or the probability of each different genotype. So, for example, in this example, they might ask how many of the offspring will be yellow? Well, we can see here that 100% of the offspring will be yellow. So genetic crosses are often based on diseases caused by either dominant disorders, in which case we'd have a capital A, capital A, or capital A, lowercase a, or recessive disorders, where they both have to be lowercase. So an example of a dominant disorder is polydactyl. Now that is the presence of extra fingers or toes. I'll re-remind us of what, for example, our gene type might look like there. And an example of recessive condition would be cystic fibrosis, where we've got two lowercase, so two recessive alleles, it, the absence of any dominant alleles. And cystic fibrosis will affect a person's lungs, their reproductive organs, their pancreas, their digestive system, anywhere with a mucous membrane. So the BMAT specification needs you to be aware of both 
of these conditions and the fact that one is dominant and one is a recessive condition. So this is a recessive condition and we know this because whenever you see two unaffected parents have an affected child, it must be a recessive condition. So here you can see our two unaffected parents, E and F, and they've had an affected child, I, shown by the fact that it's shaded in black. We can also see that C, E and F are all heterozygous dominant, meaning that their genotype is capital A, lowercase a, heterozygous, hetero meaning they're two different, so capital and lowercase, and dominant because it's a dominant condition and we do have a dominant allele there. So these individuals, because this is a recessive disorder, they need to have both recessive alleles in order to show the condition. Now they don't, they have a dominant allele. That means they don't have the condition, but we do call them carriers for this condition. So they don't have an affected phenotype, but they can pass on this recessive allele, for example, to their offspring. And if they breed with another person that also has a recessive allele, they can have an affected offspring, as was shown in this example here. So another example of why this is a recessive condition. So let's take a look at some shortcuts that we can do to answer BMAT star questions on inheritance. So in this particular example, how do we know that this condition is recessive? So as before, if you see two unaffected parents have an affected child, so child E here, then the condition must be recessive. And what do you think the genotype of D is? This is a recessive condition. We know that individual D is affected by the condition because they are shaded in black. That means that they have to have an absence of the dominant allele. So they have to be, their genotype has to be lowercase b, lowercase b. And that goes for both F and E too. An unaffected individual could either be homozygous dominant, so big B, big B, or heterozygous dominant, big B, little b. But of course, they won't have the phenotype, they won't have the condition, because this is a recessive disorder. And they will only have the condition in the absence of the dominant phenotype as shown in these here. If E and F have a child, what is the probability of their child being affected by the condition? So here, both parents are homozygous recessive because they're homozygous because both alleles are the same and recessive because they are the lowercase b's and they're affected. So they can only pass on recessive alleles, can't they? Therefore, 100% of their offspring are going to be affected by this condition and all of their offspring will also be homozygous recessive. Lowercase b, lowercase b. Let's have a look at some shortcuts for dominant traits. So what hints have we got in this diagram here that this is a dominant condition? So remember that for recessive patterns, if two affected parents breed, then 100% of their offspring will have the condition. We knew that from the last example. We can see here, we've got a few individuals here, C and F, they're offspring of A and B that are unaffected. So this can't be a recessive pattern. It has to be dominant. And what is the phenotype of a person H? An affected individual can be either homozygous dominant, homozygous, both the same homo, or heterozygous dominant. Here we've got two different alleles when it's heterozygous, but we still have the dominant A, so they're still affected. An unaffected individual will be homozygous recessive, so lowercase a, lowercase a. What's the genotype of A and B? So considering the unaffected child, so C in this example here, has to be recessive, so lowercase a, lowercase a, each parent, both A and B, must have given a recessive allele to that child. So both parents, because they're also affected by the condition, must be uppercase A, lowercase a. So heterozygous dominant. K has the genotype, capital A, capital A. So homozygous dominant. What's the probability of K having offspring with the condition if they breed with an individual that is unaffected? So lowercase a, lowercase a homozygous recessive. So with dominant traits, where a parent is homozygous dominant, so capital A, capital A, they have to give a dominant allele onto their offspring. So if K breeds with someone that is lowercase a, lowercase a, 100% of the offspring will be heterozygous dominant, so capital A, lowercase a. So 100% of K's offspring will be affected by the condition. 
And this is shown here in this Punnett square. Every single one of these offspring has a dominant allele. And this is a dominant trait. So every single one, 100% of these offspring will be affected by the condition. So if C breeds with an unaffected partner, what's the probability of their offspring being affected by this dominant condition? Well, because C is unaffected, we know it must be homozygous recessive, so it has to be lowercase, lowercase, and so does the person they're breeding with. Therefore, there's no dominant alleles available, so 100% of their offspring will also be recessive, and none of them will have the condition. And here's an example in a Punnett square. So there are no dominant alleles here at all, so none of these offspring will be affected by the condition. So in this theory tutorial, we had a look at DNA, chromosomes and alleles. We looked at some genetic crosses. We investigated what recessive and dominant disorders are, how they look. And then we had a look at some shortcuts for identifying those in BMAT style questions. So continue on to the next video where we'll have a go at some BMAT style questions on this topic.